Hey everyone, welcome back to Never Fake Gaming. Uh, this time I am playing, or I'm back to playing Psychonauts, depending on uh, what the hell you're following my channel for. Uh, so, here's the rub. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've played this, some other stuff's gotten in the way. Uh, mostly other hobbies and shit like that. Uh, so I'm looking for, I don't know, the hardest button to button, or something like that. I have a button in my hand, I gotta go give it to people. Um, so I ran out here immediately, like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna collect stuff, collected a few things, and then I activated scenes. Uh, you need to get a, a PS1 core, I mean a Psy core, right. I keep reading it as PS1 core. Um, and there was another card up here. As I remember. And then I immediately activated a scene, and I was like, oh no. Oh, there's another card. Um, I want to record all the scenes, or just so I could, um... Because it was a really weird, it was a weird <laughs> fucking scene. Oh, that wasn't a thing I could jump on. Anyway. Uh, there's these glowing things. I don't think I can get the glowing things yet. This weird kid. I think this button is a clue to the location of Sasha 9's secret lab. Really? Hang on. I'll use my power of clairvoyance on it to see if he's got any ladies in there. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Just Maloof. And he's crying. I've heard that's what, what happens to kids who go for Sasha's advanced training too early. Man, this this game is creepy, but wait a minute. If I put that away... You know, a nutcracker might be faster. Tonight... Alright, this, this is the scene is I got. Of that was like ladies. full of... I'm going to see um, everything. Weird 1980s sexual face? harassment humor. No, dude, the girl's cabin. I've got a man on the. And yes, inside. there are no women in the in the in the acorn, which is immediately what I thought as well. I, I was like, it. the way he phrased you're that, it sounded like he, they were in the acorn. You grabbed but... one of the squirrel's nuts, and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees. Um, so... could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? Teach me how to do that. That's all hey, sorts of wrong. What I the paid fuck a little is this bit game? of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. Uh, no, dude, you're an expert at uh peeping. Uh, Tommy has the peeping. Okay. I'm gonna Tommy, close Tommy, my Tommy, eyes, Tommy, right? Tommy. And uh, then I'm gonna start to count <laughs> So to recently I've been okay. hanging out at a and game store guys uh, over by me. Everybody uh, my it. friend owns it's it. Uh, I have I've only been to it a few us. times, but I'm trying You've to make a concerted it. effort I got it. to, um... You start counting, and then I go hide so in like that bush. Great. Hang out with people more what? and play more D&D, but not just play D&D, like actually hang out or play other games. So I was playing other games, and one guy was just... Hold on. He immediately this goes into that line, which is from the talented Mr. It's Ripley. Uh, and it's funny because like no one ever knows that line. Man, so if I ever bring it up, Tommy has the peeping. Okay, call me crazy, um, but I have just people got just to think I'm fucking weird, so I'm kind of glad someone so else yes, brought it up. But then I was thinking, wait, real. I mean, I've only known this guy a couple months, uh, and this is like today. the first time like outside of D and D in just like a social setting. Ooh. Uh, that we were talking, and he he brought that up because uh, I forget uh, we were, we ended up playing a board game, and uh, I just ooh I see sparkles. Can I karate chop that open? Can I talk to it? Yes, I can talk to the door. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna peep at that, or I said like the way I phrased it, he just goes, Tommy has the peeping, and I was like, yes, finally. Someone that understood a really obscure, talented Mr. Ripley line. Which isn't as obscure if you are a, um... What? Pull that up? Hells yeah, I could just pick these up? Oh, that's cool. You can grind on anything? Man, this must have been when uh, Tony Hawk was really popular. I don't even know when the fuck this game is originally from. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the early 2000s. That's a, that's a guess. Oh, that's right. I could double jump. I told you it's been a few weeks. But uh, anyway, no, nope, can't can't do that. Oh, could, I really honestly thought I needed some sort of special power to get these things. That's fairly impressive of how uh, bad I am at. Sweet collection fest. 
Which is good, because I can kind of absentmindedly talk about shit. And if you're a really big fan of CinemaSins, uh, in their quote-unquote audio outtakes, where they use other audio uh, onto different scenes. Oh, this fucking swinging thing again. Uh, this this kind of shit is the reason I have to uh, edit a lot of this, because this... I can't get the controls down for this at all. I... I'm wiggling! What? Oh god, stop. Okay, maybe if I do it from this and it, it changes the perspective of the controls. But yeah, the CinemaSins audio outtakes, I'll get to this story eventually. I fucked it up already. Um, they use that a lot for any kind of weird scenes with Peeping Toms. <laughs> Uh, it's, it was, it's funnier when you actually see it. But, uh, yeah, I'm like a huge CinemaSins fan. Uh, and it's, it's actually, I, I, I enjoy them, like, the people behind the channel as people. Like, not just as, uh, this is turning into a commercial for them. Wow, that was a fucking miss. Oh, I forgot how to get back up there. Alright, the outhouse. This is gonna be a long-ass video of me doing nothing. So anyway, now that I got that card, uh, see I gotta edit past a lot of me, uh, fucking up these small traps. Alright, so I see a pink thing in there, but I see a ladder and a tree over there. I don't know how that loops around. Cool, I... Come on, come on. Um... Yeah, so, uh, with the whole CinemaSins thing, um, just the fact that, like, some people take them so seriously, and they actually, I mean, they don't like every movie they rag on. Could you jump in that hole? In that hole? Jump in the hole! Um, but they're actually really big fans of movies, uh, which I really appreciate. Alright, so I can't pick this up? No, I can't pick that up. I'm so used to games, I guess, now having prompts for absolutely everything. Like, um... And I was discussing this with, uh, just a, a friend the other day. Alright. Um... Games, like, hold your hand so much now that I, uh... When you play, like, an older game without... What do you call it? Uh, I don't want to, like, the... What the like fuck? Completely frozen in a big block of ice. What does that mean? Do I need Sci-Fire? Sci-Fire! Crossfire! Uh, I have to climb this, don't I? Um... I was like, ah, games hold your hand so much now that when I play an older game, I'm just like, no way. But he's a big Nintendo fanboy and I made fun of him for it. He was like, what the hell, man? I was like, I don't know, it's just funny. I haven't owned a Nintendo product since the Game Boy Color. Uh, back in like 1997 or some shit like that, so... It's just flowers. Alright, I don't wanna talk- I'm done talking to all these creepy kids. Oh wait, there was a ladder up there. And a tightrope here. That's a fucking lot of walking. God damn it. Good news! Um, I got to that card. I, I, I was gonna edit. Uh, I did, I will edit that part out. Because I thought I was gonna fuck up that one jump a lot. I nailed it. Uh, Alright, go to your PS1 core at the campfire. I'm just gonna keep calling that. Sorry guys. Oh shit. No. Oh, depth perception you blow. All right, I got to the ladder. Bird. Birdie, birdie, bird. I'm just a birdie too. Uh, a side challenge mark. Every time you find one of these, your side cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough and you will get a new PS1 power. I hope it's a Final Fantasy power. Cuz it's a PS1 that no. That didn't really make sense. What was like a like, a specific PS1 game. Like, I feel like nothing is anymore, except, like, old... old shit that no one really plays anymore. Like, oh man, I can't even remember, but does anyone remember that, like, uh, there was Twisted Metal. I think, like, everyone remembers Twisted Metal. Um... Hmm... No passing, but I no need to get passing. to Sasha 9's secret lab. 
the fuck? Maybe you should have thought of that before. This creepy hand I holding. Well, they're not before. twins, but I don't know. That's they they could now. be considered twins exactly. in this warped now you gotta pay the toll. um Tim One Burton arrowhead. universe. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? I found this thing. I like it. He just points yep. on the screen, like arrowhead. they can see the screen I see. Here. That's amazing. Frankie, but yeah, there was an underwater twisted right? metal game, and I'm pretty you sure it only existed on the PS1, and I'm pretty sure no one else. Indians buried their dead Never had here? that. Let's see, what other Ew. PS1 games only I existed on PS1? No, stupid. It's kind of hard. You have to go for obscure shit. Here. I remember I used to have They're hidden underground, uh, Battle Arena Toshiden, right? I think that's what it was called. Just like Coach Olean. Uh, so that was a fighter game. Stuff, I wonder right if that... I'm, I'm like sure truffles. that had to have existed anyway, on something. It probably existed like... Battle Arena Toshiden 8 is probably out there somewhere right now, and I wouldn't even fucking know it, and it's probably on the Dreamcast somehow. In my mind, they still somehow make, uh, they still make games to the Dreamcast. Because every once in a while, I'll just be watching a YouTube video, and someone's like, yeah, man, I'm just playing this on Dreamcast oh, right you. now. And I'm like, you. what? Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to Why me is everyone so frightening and deranged in this game? What? Find eight items, and you'll be promoted four ranks. Man, they just keep throwing scavenger. Oh, the creepy kid does have an acorn. Let's see if I could score so that for him. Hey, where'd he go? I don't know. We were looking at another menu. How does that old guy get around so fast? I think about that in movies a lot. Uh, where, if they, like, obviously you're seeing things in movies from the camera's perspective, even though they try and give you the perspective that the camera is someone's eyes, but like. All right, creepy you, kid, what do you new got? boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. What? Uh, nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hairy. He's Russian. He's got the Less Russian lurking. bears. He talks about Always bears in Russia. Uh, but one, anyway, uh, I'll let you know if I see anything. They just Cannot need to have someone else's bear. perspective in movies once in a while, just so we can see like the weird cuts, like Batman always escaping. Like, we need to follow Batman for one of those fucking escapes. Like, or see it from his angle. Like, while he's talking to Gordon, like, the camera should show, uh, just all of the different things that, like, his character is thinking. Uh, and we can have some voiceover, and that, like, the voiceover muffles Gordon. Uh, let's see if I can get this creepy kid's acorn. Oh, it's not golden, though, is it? Come on. Go find an wings. expert. I have no idea oh, how I'm doing thing, this. Though. All right, so this wasn't a complete loss. That makes up for the arrow. Those little twin, twin girl creature things uh, took from me. And we're just grinding. We're just doing a Tony Hawk shoot. What? Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit what? System. What? What even is this? This like game is just full of fullness of ridiculousness. Or somewhere else. Drop outside the main lodge. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Nowhere. I just like to come down here to hear your voice. Ah, oh, let's, let's go, go to, to my Ford's. sanctuary. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. What? I have a hidden sanctuary. Holy shit! I have my own back cave while I was in the middle of talking about Batman. So anyway, like, it's like, Bruce Wayne, he's talking. He's like, I could use that fire escape over there, but what if it's rusty? And then, like, the camera will focus on the You're fire escape. Ready. And meanwhile, like, Gordon is just like, like, you know, if the Joker does this, we could do this. And then I was thinking if this, if, if we could get Harvey Dent on the cave. Like, I don't know why I'm doing Dark Knight. Probably because I was just, uh, what? Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read. Oh man, I totally was not listening magazine. to this game at all. Fuck. Who even knows what this is about? Um, I better go. I got lots of work to do. Go. I'll read this shit lots off of screen on my own time. Good luck, uh, right now we're talking about Thanks. goofy, goofy I'll Batman shit in this Batman Don't worry. case. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. What? My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son. So I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make well, it appear, you can do it with this special device. That's terrifying. That's bacon. Is that a piece of is bacon? It, is that bacon? Oh, it's bacon. Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I, I just stuff, get so I wet for bacon. I mean, my balls are dripping. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. 
Wow. All right, any, uh, anything down here? Oh, there's platforms! Oh, shit, I forgot how to get up. I forgot how to get up. I can't get it up. Gotta get up, gotta get down with the sickness. Uh, do you see anything, audience at home? Even though I'm recording this probably weeks. Possibly even months, especially if you go by, uh, where I'm currently in Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I'm releasing... I see something. I'm releasing videos that are just were months filmed m filmed recorded months and months and months ago anyway now before you go electrocuting yourself let me tell you how these babies work what now this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler oh i know what those are oh wait i mental need one of those are... i was actually you just see, gonna uh, your psyche is cut recording long, and just jump up this whole platform form. and then be now, like ta-da magically on top of the i should be listening mental cobweb duster you can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find projections the the man this is psychic energy on the real world side this totally so is just you inception take what you collect back here Hook it up to the loom. Except without all the Leave rules that, that they don't bother to explain. I feel like half an exception. Uh, in like exception. Inception is an exceptional market, movie. But sometimes I'm just like, could we uh, explain um, Tom Hardy's character like at all? Also sold in the company store for nominal fee. And it will kick out a bona fide side challenge market. Which will earn you a promotion oh, Jesus Christ, to a he's still talking. Rank. rank up enough? You'll earn new so basically, abilities. between each recording of this it? game, I just go and try and learn how to replay it. Put my mental it. cobwebs in there, and my psi cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Oh yeah, my god. basically. Have fun. That's how I get the flame power, huh? Right, how do I use it? Fort said that I can use this machine to turn pine needles into delicious taffy. I said it turns mental cobwebs oh, into Oh, Jesus psi Christ. Cards. Just testing your hearing. But you gotta buy a cobweb duster at the camp store first. Yeah, yeah. Man, this game is way uh, more you, intricate yeah, yeah, than I me. ever thought it would like would be that. or was or is. Did he just whisper something that I couldn't hear? Why is this lit? No, it's just creepy and pulsating. Alright, fair enough. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get out of this dungeon. Um... And I will see you guys next time. You could like, subscribe. You could follow me on Twitter at never, 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 never fate underscore. Uh, you can follow my friend's channel, Tollboys Gaming, because uh, sometimes I'm on that channel, or sometimes just my friends are on that channel. Uh, it's my friend Jordan's channel. We play games together sometimes. It's fun. It's great. Uh, I'm just padding for time because I'm trying to get a perfect 19-minute uh, finish. Even though I'm going to edit this, so it, even, it won't even be 19 minutes long. Fuck it. See you guys. Bye.